welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are going to invite you to a classic film festival and tell you a little bit about what it is. It will be this summer at the library and my guests are Rita Scrivener from the library. Welcome back, Rita. Thank you. And David Johnson, who's a volunteer. Welcome. Thank you, Robin. Good to see you again. Good to see you. And we learned so much about film from you. I'm going to ask, first of all, you're a volunteer. This is It's Rita's job, but, right. <laughs> but you're doing right. this because you love film. Oh, I do. Yeah, I'm a film buff from, uh, oh, I don't know, way, way back. <laughs> Too many years. So it's always been your passion, and you put together, this is your second or third summer? Second, yeah. Um, of, of classic films. So this year, what, what period, what is the theme that we're going to talk about or watch? It's the uh, birth of the uh, Hollywood musical. It's uh, period 1927-32, going way back. That is way back. About as far, as far back as you can go without being in the silent era. So that, okay, so that was my first thought. Did the musical happen pretty quickly? Or, I mean, th there were talk talkies, you know, at first. Right. But the musical must have come along really quickly. Oh, it did. And that tradition comes from Broadway or from it's the part, stage? Yeah, it's partly Broadway. There were a number of uh, film adaptations of Broadway shows, but there were also some original um, stories. So it was a mixture. So this goes back before my, <laughs> before my movie days. When I think yeah. of the musicals, I don't think of those super early films. I right. think of the popular ones from the 40s probably and mm -hmm. on. What, um, what films, what, are they films I've heard of? Like what we'll be, be watching? Uh, probably most of them would be pretty obscure to, to most people, but that's one reason why we want to do them. To Right, because I Introduce will not them Netflix them or whatever, and they're probably a little hard to find some of them. Uh, they're all out on DVD, actually, fortunately. That's or else a good we could, thing. Or else we couldn't do this program. Right, right. Well, you probably heard of The Jazz Singer. That's the... It's been remade so many times. It would uh, be so interesting to go back to the original, which I don't think I've seen. Yeah, it hasn't been shown in a while. I saw it many, many years ago, probably right after it was released to television. But uh, it is, it's from 1927. It, it is the first feature film with songs and some spoken dialogue. Really? Okay. Yeah, not a whole lot. It's basically a silent film. I think when people see it for the first time, they're a little surprised. <laughs> it's not what they expected. But uh, and it, uh, it is the film that made Al Jolson the first big star of uh, film musicals. Wow. So we want to give him his due. And uh, also, uh, the film is fairly well known as the Broadway Melody, which uh, most film historians uh, regard as the first true Hollywood musical. Okay. So it was advertised. Who, who was in that? Any songs I would know? Uh, yeah, there was, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's enough <laughs> far back you want to go. Of course, the, ti the title song was a big hit. Yeah, and, it uh, sounds familiar. Uh, you Were Meant for Me, that was a big hit song from that. Those were the two, two big ones. So this would be fun for anybody who is a fan of musicals, a fan of classic film. And right. You're going to give us a, a, a little talk before each one, probably, about yeah, I'll, the, uh, set the stage, tell us you know, what was significant. Right, I'll be hosting this. So, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good mixture of, uh, of films from that period. There were a lot, probably more musicals made in that period than any other time in uh, history. Really? Oh, yeah, they just cranked them out. In fact, they overdid it so that people after a while got kind of reacted negatively. Well, there were so many bad musicals that, that came <laughs> out. That's what really kind of killed the, uh, the golden goose there. And uh, Hollywood tends to do that. Yeah, they, they kind of do that. And so people just stopped going to, even good musicals couldn't draw a crowd, unfortunately. So for a while there in the early 30s, there very few were made. Interesting. And then and, it hit another wave, I guess. Yeah. when. Uh, 42nd Street came along in uh, 1933. That kind of revitalized the whole genre. And, uh, but that's a, a different uh, era. It's the beginning of a different era, the Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers era. Yeah, that's, that, that, that comes really uh, after what we're talking about. Interesting. And so this early period then, though, influenced 
um, the next wave and the next wave. You yeah, was, change and adapt, and it, and it was, builds on the past. It was very much a trial and error, because when they started, nobody had ever made a musical, so how did you do it? Mm -hmm. So they, they had to kind of find their way. And they did by 1932. The, uh, the form is pretty pretty much in place. So we'll see how it so, becomes more sophisticated. Yeah, we're showing time these period. we're showing these cells in chronological order, so you can, you can see the progression from the early period, which is is kind of creaky at times, oh. to the the later films, which are, are pretty uh, polished uh, productions. Interesting. So Rita, this is going to be at the library. Um, tell us about the summer film series. When does it start? What night is it? Each one is going to be on Tuesday nights at 6.30 p.m. And the first one is June 5th, and it will end on August 7th. So, okay, it's going to go through most of the summer, and um, it's on the wall. It's a big projection. It's really different from seeing it on a TV screen. <laughs> Last summer with the first film series, we did classic sci-fi of the 50s, mm -hmm. and they just looked spectacular. And to see these musicals this way, I think is going to be equally impressive and, there, and so yeah. different. Yeah, there really wasn't a small screen then. They were made to be on this big screen right. that you can't see at home. It'll really be like seeing a different movie, I think. And if you've never seen it before, I think this is a great way to see them. And um, similar to the way we um, have our patrons vote for whatever they would like to see for our regular book to film programs, mm -hmm. we actually did a ballot for this second year to see which genre people would be most interested in. So we hope to keep this going for a long time. Uh, but this series this summer is by popular demand. That's so fun. And you know, I think about one of council's strategic priorities is an educated and engaged citizenry. And when you think about being an adult, we might not go back to class just for fun, but we can be educated in other ways and learn things always, all the time, that sort of continuous learning um, experiencing new things. And um, this is going to be a little cheaper, maybe, than taking a class in film, right, Rita? How much does it cost? Uh, this is at no charge. Yay, that's <laughs> the best kind. Yeah. Right. And so, um, are there any snacks? Do we bring popcorn? No. You don't want that mess, do you? Well, some of the programs this summer are taking place in a, in a room that is set aside for some children's programming during the summer. And so this summer, I'm sorry to say, it will mostly just be water because we, okay. have, to, we have to mind our, our P's and Q's for the children's <laughs> program the next day. Yeah. But, um, but usually we will be able to do snacks. Last summer we did, and I hope in the future we can, but this summer's a little different. They're all in meeting room B at the library. At okay, the library. you guys stay very busy in the summers. I'm glad that the film series could work in. Yes, we kind of have to improvise with where to put things because um, that is a, a good problem to have. It We've is. got so much going on. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Okay, well, um, is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up, David? Oh, I just want to say that uh, although these films were made many years ago, even before my time, but they, they still retain their entertainment uh, value, and they're, they're still fun to see the songs and dances and the humor, even the humor. Some of it is not dated, and uh, it's, it's uh, the kind of experience that only a good musical can provide. It's a special experience. And I hope uh, people will attend this series and uh, have that experience. It sounds fun. I'm trying to count in my head. So it's eight or nine or so weeks, different, uh, different about movies. Nine weeks, about nine weeks, ten, nine movies. Ten uh, films. Oh, ten films. Okay, so great. But over, yeah, it is like nine weeks. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So Rita, tell us again. It is on what night at what time? Tuesday nights at 6.30, starting on June 5th. And that's at the main library. That's the one at 4207 Victoria Boulevard. I call it downtown. It's a little bit on the fringe of downtown, mm -hmm. though. And um, people don't need to register. They can just show up. Right. Sure, just show up. Yeah, was well, it crowded last year? We had a pretty good turnout. It kind of depended on how well known the movie was. Mm -hmm. And so it, we'll be interested to see how it goes this year because yeah, right. the movies are not known at all. The no. movies are not known, but the <laughs> genre is known. And oh, I think, yeah. you know, people will be very interested to see mm -hmm. kind of how it all began and, and to learn a little bit mm -hmm. and to be entertained. Not, not, that's an important part too, yeah. right? Oh, well, they will be entertained. Yeah, these, uh, these films can still still do it. Okay. Well, thank you both very much. Thank you, Rob. 
and thank you for watching. I hope to see you this summer where we can all learn a little bit about the early musicals and enjoy ourselves on a summer Tuesday um, throughout the summer. Thanks for watching.